Hey everyone, it's me Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to go over my 2017 products. Now, these products may not have all been released in 2017. It might have been 2015. 15, 16, whatever, but they're products that I discovered and used a lot during 2017. So I either got them at the end of 2016 or the beginning of 2017, or maybe they were just a rediscovered product. But anyway, if you guys want to see my favorites from 2017, the things that I think are worth the mention, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to kind of talk about them, how I apply them to my face. So the first thing is primer. Now this is the Benefit Professional. I really like this primer, but I'm going to have to find something else that I like. This is just a sample size of it that I'm trying to use up. Um, as you guys know, I'm trying slowly to buy more cruelty-free brands of makeup. You may or may not know that. Um, so this benefits not cruelty free so I won't be buying this again so I'm gonna have to find something else that I like so yeah I like this one and some of these may have high-end like drugstore and like high-end categories but some of them might only have one or the other it just depends on what I've really been using I just want to mention that so next thing I'm going to go into foundation and I do have one high-end and one drugstore so the drugstore one is the wet and wild photo focus foundation I'm in the color nude ivory in case you guys wanted to know but I really like this foundation a lot this is last pretty good on me um I have combo to oily skin so although I find my skin starting to get a little more dry that I'm getting older so might have to rethink this concept but I do like this foundation and I like that it has a little spatula on it that you can get into it very good I know a lot of people either love or hate this foundation as with a lot of foundations so it's personal preference but I really like that one the next one that I have is the hourglass stick foundation I love this it is an expensive foundation here in Canada it's $56 I think I paid for this but it's worth it I mean I only use this certain times and then I use my drugstore like if I'm filming I'm only gonna put on a drugstore if I'm going somewhere I'll put this on I like the way it looks on my face and it's not overly drying but it looks really nice and it has really full coverage so I really like that foundation and for concealer I have the Kat Von D locket concealer cream and this is in whiteout and this just brightens up my whole under eye area and i really 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 like this and i probably will repurchase that when it's gone okay for setting powder i didn't buy this for myself but my cousin brought it home for the state from the states and i don't know if cody is cruelty free or not but she brought me home like four tubs of it i gave one to Kristen actually this is the cody airspun loose face powder and transparent it does have an old lady smell to it so if you're not into that then you won't like it but this will last me like a really long time especially since i have three jugs of it and it's really nice and it does a really good job of setting your face so i really like that okay so now i'm going to show you like single products for doing my face like blush and bronzer and all that stuff so first thing is this bronzer this is the physician's formula butter bronzer in light and i love this and it smells like a tropical vacation and i am so happy i purchased that that's i had to actually put that in the back of my drawer because i found myself using it so much um and then two highlights i don't have an individual blush but this is ofra's rodeo drive and just look at that it's so pretty and this is what I'm wearing today this is Becca's opal and I only have the little one of this but I mean this will last me like a long time because you don't need much of these highlights so and I know these products weren't released in 2017 but I got them in 2017 so all right so now I'm going to go over a couple of face palettes that I have that I want to share with you guys since I'm talking about the face so the first one that I have is this Tardis is that what it's called yeah pro glow to go so this has two highlights and a bronzer in it and i've been using this up quite a bit in 2017 you only need the tiniest little bit that's why it looks like it hasn't been touched but i have been using it a lot these are only like 30 dollars. i'm pretty sure you could still get it on sephora's website so if you don't want the full big palette of it and you just want to like that's a nice little palette it's perfect for travel and then the other one that I have is this highlight and contour palette by IBY Beauty. I got this in a, I was going to say Ipsy, a boxy charm. And I've used quite a bit of these bronzers as well. So I really like this. So I was happy to have received that in my boxy charm in 2017. All right, so let's go for, I'm going to save the, I don't have an eye primer. I don't have a mascara. So not for this year anyway. Um, I do have an eyeliner that I discovered pretty much at the end of the year, and this is the Essence 
what is this called? It's in nude. Um, the Essence Extreme Lasting Eyeliner. Eye pencil. Yeah, and it's waterproof. I love the Rimmel Scandalized Nude Eyeliner, and Rimmel is not cruelty-free. Essence is, and I think this has replaced that one, so that's good. And this is cheaper. This is like $2.99 or something like that. Okay, and then I have two brow products, if I can just find them in here. Okay, so I do have a single brow product, and this is the Make Me Brow. Um, I don't really do a lot with my eyebrows. Like, sometimes I dabbled in it in 2017. I did dabble in doing my eyebrows, but I like to set them in place with this tinted gel. And then, since I'm talking about it, I will talk about a product that I received from BoxyCharm that I decided to give a try, and this is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. And it's not dug in a lot, I will admit it, but when I did do my brows, I was using this powder a little bit and doing my brows with that. So I did enjoy that. So at least I'm starting to dabble with my brows anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I have three eyeshadow palettes that I use a lot. Like, I try to switch out my eye eyeshadow palettes as much as I can, but these are ones that I use a lot since since the beginning of 2017. So I got this one for Christmas last year. This is the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette, and I can never get this open. And I got, I stopped using it because I got scared I was going to hit pan on some of them. As you can see, they're dented in pretty good. But I love this palette. This will be good for traveling. Can't do like a lot of looks with this, but it's good for like every day if you just want to slap a color on your lid. I like it for that. Also for Christmas last year, I got the Too Faced Peach Palette. Sweet Peach Palette. And I've been using that quite a bit. I use this quite a bit over the summer, actually. And I really love it. And it smells like peaches, and it's yummy. And then another thing that I got in the summer that I started using quite a bit, and I don't know why I waited so long to purchase it, but the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. And there are some colors that are dug into. These shadows are extremely soft and pigmented, and they're just, they're beautiful. I use this a lot in the fall, but you can use this. I mean, I find this is an all-year palette because... These colors are good for the fall, but they're also nice and romantic for like the summer and Valentine's Day and oh, Valentine's Day look with this, I think. Okay, and then last but not least, I have my lip products in this little container here. So if you want to see my lip products, then here we go. Okay, so what should we start out with? Um, ColourPop. I never jumped on the ColourPop train for lippies until this year, and this is Kathleen Lights and Aquarius. I do have the Ultra Matte as well, but I don't like the Ultra Matte as well. This is the Glossy Lip and the um, Satin Lip, and I really love these. I have two more Satin Lips from ColourPop as well, I think. I think I have two. I think they're both Satin. I don't think they're matte. But I know I definitely have two colors that I got in BoxyCharm. At the end of the year, I discovered the Melted Latex. These are really good. I like these. They're not, like, they're thick, and they have full coverage, but I don't find them extremely goopy or sticky, so I really like that. Um, then I have the Melted Matte, which I'm wearing a Melted Matte on my lips right now. It is in sellout. It's only a mini size, but this is the... This is the first one that I got, and this is the candy cane one from last year. It smells like peppermint mochas, and it's like not straight out red. It's like a pinky red, and I just, I love this color. I wore this a lot last year. I wore Valentine's Day. I wore it during the holidays. Love it. Okay, and then the last two are two from the same brand. And I think everybody went crazy for these in 2017 pretty much. But they are the Wet n' Wild Liquid Cat Suit. These are nice. These are two of my favorite colors, too. This is, um... Nudist Peach and I think this one's Rebel Rose. Yeah, they're, they're like my literally my two favorite colors from the line. So they're absolutely gorgeous. So those are my beauty favorites. I'm not going to go into skincare and like hair care and all that stuff from 2017. I just wanted to get this up. I know it's a little bit late because everybody else said there's up at the beginning of the year, but I thought better late than never, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What have you guys been enjoying in 2017? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye everyone.